to WDW Gaming. And uh, we've now got a fancy new high resolution image, which is quite nice. Uh, managed to blag um, an SLR camera, so I'm not stuck with the webcam anymore. Uh, so the webcam was brilliant whilst, uh, whilst it lasted, uh, but it wasn't quite good enough. And you've got to admit, this is like the clearest picture you've ever seen. Look, you can see the hairs on my chinny chin chin. Um, which is not so good. <laughs> so guys, interesting fact for you, and you probably haven't realised this because you're in lockdown. I know that it took me a while. Um, it's actually Easter holidays, or should be Easter holidays if the kids weren't off. And this time last year, I was working for Alton Towers, which, as you will know, is a big theme park here in the UK. So, we can't go out to theme parks. Alton Towers is closed. I go every year, even before I was working there. Uh, it's one of my happy places. So, we're going to go to a theme park, and I've got my Costa Rican Hawaiian shirt on for a reason, because, guys, we're going to Jurassic Park. So we're going to play a little bit of Jurassic World Evolution. I um, just thought it would be just a little bit of fun, a little bit of something different, just to break up all the serious stuff we've been doing, just to go and have a bit of fun and do something just a little bit silly. Um, so I'm going to have a look at the campaign on this. I'm not going to take it as seriously as some people take it. Some people have built a real career out of it. <laughs> That's not going to be me. Uh, so we'll just drop these in every now and again just to break up all the seriousness that we're having and um, we'll just see We'll just see how much fun it is. I haven't actually tried it yet. It's sat on my Steam account for quite some time and I haven't touched it yet and it's sat on there since like the day it came out because I was really excited and then just never got a chance because other things came out at the same time and I'm a massive, massive Jurassic Park fan. So it's like my favourite film of, of all time and the best film that the 90s has to offer in my opinion one of the best series that's out there as well so without further ado let's jump in and return to isle nubla i think is the main one i think that's where we start off i don't know let's find out okay guys so here we are with jurassic world evolution um i've only opened it up just to put just to set the settings up and just make sure all the screens at the right size and everything. Um, oh, the music. Oof, it sent a shudder up my spine. Um, but yeah, apart from that, I haven't made any changes. I haven't done anything here, so we're just going to jump into the campaign. I have no idea what to expect, to be honest. Um, I've seen a couple of streams of it, but... Uh, yeah, let's go for it. Um, so let's just go with... Oh, I want Return to Jurassic Park. I may have to get that. What's that? Team up with Dr. Alan Grant, Ali Sadler, and Ian Malcolm. <gasps> and fix the mistakes! Oh my god, we need that extension. Wow. Okay, right. Well, for now, let's just have a look at Jurassic World. <laughs> Hello. Can I say welcome? My name is Dr. Ian Malcolm. Is that actually Jeff Goldblum? Well, correction, you should have. <laughs> It is! They got him to come so back and do it! Well done, developers! Well done! I'm impressed so far. <laughs> so cynical, Ian. So cynical. Ian Malcolm's gonna be like... I can't talk over him, but yeah. Oh, so that's where we're starting. That music's just something else. Okay, so we've got like... Okay. Okay. Right, so I guess this is where we make our dinosaurs. That's not funny. People died! <laughs> okay. Place it in. Oh, we're placing it there. Okay. Uh, 
how close can I get it to the trees? Just to save myself a bit of space, really. <laughs> That's some fast-ass construction. Do you even know what that means? You do know that means the five deaths, right? <laughs> okay. So we need to make it live, basically. So... Can we... Exactly. Ah. There we go. It's already connected to the power grid because of where I put it, I think. Okay. How do I get rid of. So let's turn the path off. Ooh. So we're going to get our first dinosaur. This is cool. Oh! <gasps> So many to pick from. Okay, so this is our strongest, I'm guessing. Ah, oh, we can't do a Triceratops yet. Okay, we'll do one of these. Can we modify it yet? Ooh, arid pattern. What's this? Oh, so this is like the gene sequence gaps. So we can fill it in with a frog or a bat. Um, something that like wouldn't change sex would be useful. Isn't that what went wrong last time? <laughs> um, that puts the viability down by one, but it might be a good idea considering I don't want them to change sex. Let's apply that because I really don't want the same problem we had last time. Um, put it down by... Do I want them to be a different colour? Arid pattern. Hmm. Let's make them a different colour. Let's have colourful dinosaurs and just see how it goes. Let's... We're playing God anyway. We may as well, aren't we? Okay, so if we go back, now we've modified it. Can we still? Yes, we can. Let's incubate a Struthomimus. What indeed, Ian? I think he's learned more. To be fair. <laughs> He's still so cynical. I love him. I love him. He's got to be like my favourite character from all the all the series. Um, his pearls of wisdom. No one ever listens to them, ever. And he's always right. He always ends up being right. He's the only character I know from any film or game series that like literally every single piece of advice that he gives and if they would have followed him exactly, the, you know, half of the shit wouldn't have happened. Oh, Ian. I'd listen to you, Ian. Right, let's release our first dinosaur. It's so beautiful! So now we can see everything about it. <laughs> Rating. <laughs> it's got a little bit of modifications. I mean, that's cool. So it tells us exactly how we how we put this thing together and 
its value. So it's lost a bit of value when we've incubated it. That says a lot about the series, actually, that the genomes and the embryos are worth so much more than the uh, than the actual animal itself. So it's so cute. I could just watch this all day. It's looking for what it's drinking. It updates. Oh, Luke. <laughs> It's so adorable, I want to pet it! <laughs> dinosaurs should never be kept as pets. I don't advocate dinosaurs being kept as pets. Not after what happened here! Okay, so we can go with science, entertainment, or security. God damn, security is pretty important. Uh, entertainment's gonna be okay. So do you know what? Let's take this on the Alton Towers um, model, which I know about. So obviously, science division would be coasters and attractions. Entertainment is going to be keeping people fed, hungry, giving them a place to stay, and security. Well, when it comes to dinosaurs, I'd say security is pretty obvious. Um, I've just contracted you to take uh, request additional contracts from the control. Okay. Um, what would I like to focus on initially? I think. Do you know what? We have nothing to secure without the dinosaurs. So. Maybe science, then again? No. I'm doing the Malcolm. I'm doing the opposite of. I feel like I should follow Ian Malcolm's thing here. Okay, so for some reason my camera shut off there. I'm not entirely sure um, why, but uh, <laughs> okay, need to look into that. It's my first actual stream with the new camera, so um, hopefully it won't do it again. If it does, then you may see things jud juddering around a little bit, but anyway. Um, so yeah, okay, so we're gonna go with security. Security's pretty important and it's where we went wrong last time, so. I'm not quite sure who this guy is and if he turns up in Jurassic World or not. Oh, typical. Okay, so build and connect and power an expedition centre. Okay, yeah, we'll take that on. Contracts can be requested from the division heads inside the control room. Complete these expedition center. Obtain dinosaur fossils. Shut up! Obtain dinosaur fossils and amber by dispatching dig teams to sites around the world. Okay. So let's keep this out of the way somewhere. And it needs power doesn't it so I think these circles are what give it its power so we'll do that and it will need a path there we go Well, that's just their fault. So, I think we power it with these little things anyway. If it's within the yellow circle, that would make sense. Yes, it does. You're a dick! Okay. So what, we've got something in here. Ooh, an expedition map. Ah. So guys, I figured out why the camera keeps cutting out and it is the battery. Um, so I have replaced said battery and we should be good to go. 
Um, I don't know how long said battery is going to last. It doesn't seem to be lasting that long. I need a power supply for this thing because it is eating power like no one's business. Um, so, anyway, without further ado, so we have, um, which you should have seen. Actually, no, I'm not going to recap. Um, so we've got to find an Edmontosaurus. So, yes, we will take that mission on. Ooh. So it's kind of like a little bit of a window onto the, um, onto the, what happens behind the scenes at Jurassic Park, really. So select a dig site to start an expedition. There with an available dig team. The expedition center will display an icon when it's ready to send out a dig team. Okie dokie. So what are we after? We were after that, weren't we? What else can we get? 44... Monsaurus... Oh, we could get quite a few from there, but we know we need this for the mission. I... Shush! I'm trying to stream here! So rude. Okay. Thank you. So you popped up and interrupted my speaking just to say carry on. Right, before I do that, what is in here exactly? So, are these fossils that we've already got? I think they might be. Ah, so we already have fossils. We don't need to send out a dig team, yeah. And we have different research we can do, so we'll come back to that later. And a database of various things as well. So a list of dinosaurs. Do, 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 do. Does it show me what I can get? Because let's face it, guys, there's only one dinosaur that we're all really interested in, isn't there, really? They've been in every single film. <laughs> and it looks something like this. <laughs> Um, okay. I'm not quite sure what that is. Okay, so there's a lot in there that I can have a look at separately. But we've got these fossils anyway. Let's see if we've got the one that we're looking for. So Struthamimus, Triceratops. Ah, so these are the ones that were all in the list that we couldn't do yet. So we do need to go out and do an expedition. Um, then again, did we have an Ed Edmontosaurus in our list? Yes, we do. Aha. So, if we... Because I'm sure fossils come out looking just like this. <laughs> oh, look, that's how we know what it is. It's got a helpful picture on the side of it. Viable genomes allow you to create dinosaurs that have in Creation Lab. Yeah, we kind of figure that out. Expeditions sometimes bring back extra finds that could be sold for cash. Okay. So this is the one that we're after, and we want to extract the DNA from that. And let's see if we get a viable genome. Ooh. This is quite fun, actually. And you know what? There's a lot to it. Um, the UI is absolutely fantastic. Um, they've done a, a, a brilliant job at this. At, at, I think it's at Frontier Games that they've done this, but they've done an absolutely fantastic job of putting this UI together and making it all feel very... I mean, it's more Jurassic World than Jurassic Park, but given the time this came out, you kind of expect that. Uh, but the UI is looking, like, top-notch. Well done. Well done. So, yes, we're losing money at the point, at the moment. Yes, we're aware of that. Um, okay, so we've extracted the DNA from that. Um, are we ready to build a dinosaur yet? Uh, acquire a 50% genome. Oh, we're really close. Okay. So if we go out and look for one, we can probably do the rest. Right. 
so I mean, yeah. I, every time I go to talk. Not quite the circle of life. Close, but no dice, I'm afraid. Um, so yeah, no, like I was saying about the, the development as well, the the audio is brilliant as well. It's got all that original, like, spine-tingling music in it um, that, you know, kind of you heard back in the 90s and, and, you know, sort of like really set your interest to light back then. You hear it again, you relive that moment. You know, I remember when we, we went to see Jurassic Park at the cinema my mum made sure to take my grandparents with us who aren't who unfortunately aren't with us anymore and she wanted them to have because it was such a big thing at the time so all of you guys who weren't around for when the original film came out it was it was a real experience and it was the first time anyone had done anything like this it was one of the first times the cgi had been used in like such a level on a film even though it relied mostly on models and things like that as well and my mum wanted to make sure that she took my grandparents along just so they could experience that Okay, science. I like you. You're much better than the other assholes that I've met. Modify and release the Struthamimus with a lifespan trait of at least 41. So we need to get data relating to dinosaur lifespans, particularly how genetic modification can be used to increase them. That would be useful. I'd very much like to increase the life of my dinosaurs. Does it tell me how to do that in here? Uh, null genes, so the, yep, yeah, so we used a bat last time. Ah, so, so this is what all the different, ah, so frogs fill in the gaps. We can increase tooth and claw hardness, wrong muscle strength and robust digestion. So we increased heart and muscle strength last time, which is good. That's probably something that I would imagine would extend their lifespan. Um, digestion eh, doesn't expand your life skin, does it? Your lifespan does it? I think we made a good choice actually going with with the bat. I was right. I was right. Yes. Plus, they don't switch sexes, which no one is mentioning here. <laughs> Maybe that's like an in-joke or something. Or more specifically, an in-gen joke. Get it? Uh, okay. Cosmetic null gene. Arid cosmetic. So that was the one that changed the colour. So we still don't know... about. Actually, didn't we have a research tab? We did, didn't we? So... Genetics, maybe. What would give us longevity? Um, attack and defense. I kind of figured that out. Okay, so yeah, research helps us make better dinosaurs, better buildings. Yep, we get it. So this would help. So properties of the anhole lizard. Regrow lost tail significantly promote healthy tissue regeneration. Okay. Um, ah, lifespan and resilience traits, the shark. So, let's get that. And my fossil is ready. There's a lot going on. You're having to juggle like a hell of a lot all at the same time. Um, so what have we got here? So we got Edmontosaurus genes. Oh, we got a couple of them. Okay. So we'll extract that one. Can we do two at the same time? Yep, we'll extract that one. No dinosaur DNA to extract, so we'll sell that for a bit of cash. Uh, how's my research going? That's still got a couple of minutes left. So these are definitely worth looking at. Um, so it looks like we've got another couple of dig sites as well. And I think it can tell us what we can find. Yeah, so... Oh, that's what we found. So when we've... When we've yeah, okay. Okay, cool. Um, 
wow, there is a lot to take in here. Um, this is definitely going to be more than like a one hit stream. <laughs> Uh, so skin impressions, uh, remains of skin, yeah, okay, but we sold that so we don't care. So this is the island that we are on now, um, in northernmost island of the five deaths, so okie dokie. And in the archive, Mr. DNA! Oh, I have a t-shirt of you because you're awesome. Um, okay, so, okay, yep, we know her, he's a dick. He's our head of security, and we all know who Dr. Ian Malcolm is. Like the superstar rock star of the dinosaur world. <laughs> and the chaos theory world. Right. Um, one last thing then. Diseases. Common cold. I bet you're missing your latest edition. Okay, so. We're still bleeding money, but, you know, my dinosaurs are happy, so I'm actually okay with that at the moment. Um, I'm going to be so bad at this game because everything for me is just going to be about keeping the dinosaurs healthy. <laughs> ah, we've got an Edmontosaurus now. Sweet. You know what it sounds like? Okay. So we need two things. We need the dinosaur and ACU. Uh, okay, let's see. Whoa, okay, you have given me lots of things to do. So, um... We are doing that. I don't want to take on too much in, like, one go. There's already a lot to do. So we'll do... We'll do his first, because we're still waiting for the research thing to, to complete anyway, I think. Um, so... What, what have we got here? Incubate and release the Hammond Creation Center, Edmonds. Right, we'll do that. Actually, no. Do you know what? No. Let's let's construct an ACU center because I don't really want to be releasing more than one dinosaur without having a way of controlling them, really. So, can we... How can we... Bleh. Can I... No. I'm actually trying to find out how I can move across the map without using my mouse, because my mouse is going outside of the... Oh, okay, so... Things are happening and I can't even move. Can I maybe click and drag? No. Okay. Um, there must be an easier way of moving across this map. <sighs> okay. That's all open dinosaur land. Uh, I'd very much like to place it here. Can we get rid of the trees? Maybe it's in landscaping. Demolish mode. Nope. I don't want to plant any more forest. I want to get rid of the forest! Um... trees. Guarantee that if I click there, it's gonna... Ah! No trees. Ah! Yes! Get rid of all of the trees. This I feel so bad right now, just chopping down half of the goddamn forest. Let's get rid of all of this. And you know what? Whilst we're at it, let's just clear some... I'm not getting rid of many trees! Just enough to do what I need to do. Okay. Can I get rid of any... Is that like the boundary line for the park? It is, isn't it? So if I try and keep inside that... and I can put the greenery back. I'll plant some for as much as I'm chopping down. Don't hate me. Uh, okay, so let's get rid of that. We now have space. So we need... Operations. We need an ACU center. Which we can't build because it's in. Ah! That is convenient. It's just. In, I think that's just within our power grid. 
So we'll put that there. And we will need a path. So I think that should be okay. Okay, so let's... Whilst we're doing that, we'll incubate our dinosaur. Edmontosaurus. Didn't want any special adjustments, did it? It just wanted me to build it, I think. Like, research it and incubate it. So we'll incubate that, and whilst that's going... We'll check on... I think, I think that'll still keep going, yep. Yeah. And whilst that's going, we'll check on this. Ah, so that's how you move around the map easier. Right mouse button moves around the map ten times easier. Um, okay, so we've got our ACU centre, which we've constructed and is clearly powered. Awesome. Good start. Dinosaurs ready to release. That's good. Um... Yeah, we'll release the dinosaur then. Research item, so reload speed plus one. Ah! Look at it, it's so majestic! It's got a bit of an ugly face, but it's, <laughs> it's majestic and it's a dinosaur! Do you know if places like this existed? Questionable, but I would totally go. I would be like first in line to buy a ticket for this shit. I was so fascinated with dinosaurs when I was younger. Oh, we can name them. Oh. I want to name it. I'm going to name it. I'm going to name it Arnie. Ah! <laughs> I feel like such a big kid. This is great. Okay, um... It's got how long, so... They were talking about lifespans and stuff earlier, so bear in mind we've done this with all the base genomes. And this guy is gonna live... How long is he gonna live? Does it say? Appetite, metabolism, would have thought lifespan would have been in there. Authenticity, skin, ah, lifespan, so 48. Okay, that's not too bad, 48 years for a dinosaur, you know, that's... Longer than I've been alive, currently. So... Oh my god, I already have to... I already have so much to do! And a total of release profit, okay. Yes! The dinosaurs need things to eat! <laughs> The dinosaurs need food. <laughs> That's why we need people. Okay, we'll accept that. And we've got a lot going on. So... Okay, um, profit's gone up a bit. I mean, that's a good thing, surely, right? Um, I'm so worried about bringing guests into this bloody park. <laughs> Everyone's gonna get eaten. Um, okay, so uh, we wanted to research. So at the... That's gonna be at the research centre, isn't it, surely? So... Control room, research, maybe, what was this? Ah, that's the one, reload speed. Improved rifle maintenance increases reload speed of ACU teams and assigned tranquilized tasks. That is going to be useful. Yes, I will take that. That feels like a definite must. Okay, so, whilst that's doing, we'll go back and see our park. Hmm. So that really is just the objective, just to make a profit. Um, <coughs> so, we need to go messing with the genes and stuff now, don't we? So the Struthomimus. Whoa! Just stop! 
Yeah. <laughs> okay, we're not doing that yet. We're... No. Not yet. Um, we have more important things to do before we get everybody eaten. Um, okay, so I guess we need to make this guy like a little bit stronger so we can mess with his gene a little bit more. Uh, because when I messed with the gene last time, it, it went down by like 5%. Did you notice that? When I had a little bat genome in there. So we want nice, strong dinosaurs. So we're going to extract some more DNA. And again. And hopefully we'll have quite a strong um, dinosaur then. Select the enclosure gate to control it. I am not doing that yet. No. That seems like a stupid ass thing to do in the first place. Although I must say my park is now looking pretty nifty. Power output, unused power. Oh, we're running out of power then. So we may need a power station at some point. Um, or at least I'm guessing that's what that means. Um, So, the profit from guest facilities, I'm not entirely sure how I'm going to be able to do that yet, but we're working on that currently. And we've done the research for it. So, we'll just wait for this to complete, and that's, that's still only going to get us up to like 75, if that. That's not brilliant. But we'll see what happens when we try and put the gene in and go from there. So, okay, and we may as well extract the DNA on these whilst we're waiting. Um, so, it was a Struthomimus. What? 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 What is this? you get out i didn't even let you out oh my god i swear to god if he's done this when i wasn't ready where is it what do i have to do i haven't done the tutorial on this yet get back in your pen oh my god um okay <sighs> you get that fixed soon. yeah those shit Tranquilize the dinosaur. How do I do that? <coughs> yeah. I have a problem with how you're keeping me safe. I hate you. I hate you. I hate you. Stop talking to me and just tell me how to do it. <laughs> okay. I'm there. Anyone going to give me it? Oh, do you know what? Fine. Um, add a task. Ah! Select highlighted objects and assign them as tasks. So, yes, I would like to tranquilize Arnie. Because Arnie is running around being a little bit of a shit at the moment. Did that... Did that... Claire, come on, not now. Use the ACU shortcut. Ah, there's a shortcut. Okay. ACU hel... Ah, ha, ha. ACU helicopter... Add task. I would very much like to tranquilize this dinosaur. Okay, so T. If dinosaurs escape, T. It's a good job I don't have any guests on the part. They'd all be eaten by now. Then again, this is a herbivore, isn't it? Maybe they wouldn't be eaten by now. Attacked, maybe. Yes. Shoot her! Shoot her! Wrong dinosaur, I know, but still. Uh, range station storms can damage it to really... Oh, my days. Okay, I thought this was going to be a nice walk in the park, like, literally. And again, <laughs> a walk in Jurassic Park is not like any normal walk in the park, is it? Um, 
So storms can damage structures in the park. If severely damaged, they will stop functioning. Fences can also be damaged by dinosaurs. Okay. Right. Could have told me that earlier. I would very much have liked to have known the dinosaurs can damage fences before this. Select a ranger station using R, and you use a ranger, so T and R. Okay, so use a ranger team to manually initiate repairs or assign them to carry out tasks. Repairs can sometimes take time. So does that mean I have a broken fence down? Oh, God's sake. Assign a task to a manually pilot. Sally got to... Yeah. That's okay, you can tranquilize for me. If in manual mode and in close proximity to dinosaur, use R to switch views. Whilst aiming, use a dart rifle. Okay. Um. I mean, we're in relatively close proximity at the moment, aren't we? So, what did it say to change views? Oh, it did it. It tranquilized it. Okay. Okay, but first I would very much like to fix this fence. Um, where's my broken fence? Because there is actually another dinosaur in there, isn't there? Oh my god, stop. I am busy! Yeah, okay, whatever. No! <laughs> Don't get back in your pen! Ah! <laughs> Stop! No, don't go into. Don't go in there. Come back. Jesus, why can't dinosaurs just do as they're fucking told? Um. There's my broken fence. Do I have like a ranger? station. Please don't tell me I don't have one. If I don't have one, I'm not going to be happy. Um... It did say press R, didn't it? To fix the fences and shit. Um... Yeah, I know, but I don't know how to fix it. I mean, they're tranquilized, which is good. Um, power station, expedition center. Maybe I don't have one. It's possible I don't have one. Um, that's not good. I hope they're going to stay asleep whilst I build one. Oh, okay. Uh, transport, so select an ACU centre. We're using T to get them to be transport. Okay. Well, I don't want them transported just yet because I'd very much like to fix my fence first. Fortunately, guys, I'm going to have to leave it there because unfortunately that's where my camera cut off. Um, so it turns out that when I'm recording footage with the camera, if it's not hooked up to the computer, it only goes for half an hour. And I didn't know that. Um, so I'm going to have that fixed for next time, as in, so I've done some work, this video, this the end of this video is actually coming much later in the day, where I've worked it all out and everything's hooked up the way it should be. Um, so, if you liked it guys, go and hit the like button, and give us a subscribe, come and join the pack, and come mark your territory, and I will see you in the next video, and why am I going to be back? Because the gamers never die, they just respawn. See you next time guys.